because it's really late here and the little ones and the missus are asleep so I don't want to wake them up um, but I really felt that I should make this video and um, yeah so you might be wondering what this is right here it is a water vortexer it uh, vortices the water um, and basically energizes the water. It also realigns the molecular structure of the water, helping it to be um, to increase hydration, carrying capacity, um, it helps get rid of um, bad programs or any kind of harmful vibrations that are in the water. Um, it's very simple to make and I want you all to know exactly how to make one so it's um, you can do it any time. Like it took me one day to build this. <laughs> so um, basically, I got two uh, wine bottles of the exact same um, proportions, the exact same bottles. Um, I got a, a tube, I think this was a one inch tube, this is a PVC uh, water pipe tube. Uh, it leaks a little bit, so it's not the best connector or anything, but it's, it'll, it, does, it works. Um, I got um, 12 magnets, um, 1000 gauss I think it is pronounced, magnets, each one. And I arranged them in a um, Star of David pattern. So three, three of them on each side would have um, the south facing in, and three of them would have, and another in a triangle would have the south facing in, and three of them on another triangle would have the north facing in. And I did that on both sides. And um, um, this is the kicker, though. This is a, this is one I had to get a little washer to put inside in the very center to to make the hole smaller, so that. Um, the water would vortice down through it at a, at a better rate and it wouldn't just like go 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 through and so it created a nice stream I'm still fine tuning it because um, obviously I didn't have much time to put into it but I, I'm fine tuning it so I went and got a piece of an end cap, a testing end cap of copper um, from a hardware store and they, they, they have a little, and basically I flattened it flat and I cut a circle out of it and um, I drilled a hole through it, and um, so the hole is, it was, um, I have really not the best drills, not a drill bit, so it was very hard, <laughs> and so the hole's a little wobbly, um, I'll show you right after I do some vorticing with it, I'll take it out and I'll show you, um, and so um, the, the hole is about 8 millimeters, 9 millimeters um, in diameter, and uh, yeah, so basically uh, you fill it up a little, like about 3 quarters full, and then you turn it upside down, um, which I'm going to show you here in a second. And then you uh, counterclockwise. Um, I do counterclockwise spin. You can do both side spins, uh, but uh, um, if you're going to do a, a clockwise spin based on northern hemispheres where I'm located, um, only do it about a couple times and then do a bunch of uh, counterclockwise because um, there's like there's generation and radiation, right? Uh, counterclockwise based on normal uh, northern hemispheres are radiating or uh, is a generating effect and uh, clockwise is a, a radiating effect so basically it's pushing away and um, uh, counterclockwise is a pulling in so um, yeah so this restructures your water gives it good vibes um, realigns everything magnetically and it's a lot of fun and the water is amazing um, you'll get an, a rush from it and, and uh, the first time you do it you'll within minutes you'll have to go to the washroom and the reason why is because it's it's going to carry a bunch of junk out of your body that your body does not need and doesn't want. Um, yeah, so uh, this is what it, this is, this is it vorticing. a little bit because of this connector so a little bit of water comes out but it's it's decent for just a, a, a jimmy rig uh, quick put together system so 
I'll just do two more vortices. Actually, this, this side tends to not vortice as well as the other side. It's because of the little washer in the inside. Um, it just, see, this one does a really nice double helix. You can see it. I don't know how well the camera is. It's, it's that one's a nice vortice. When it has no bubble coming up, that's really good. The other side doesn't work as well. But it's okay for a work in progress. I'll do one more time and then I'll take out the washer and I'll show you. piece of copper. It's really thin. It's like, um, I don't know, one-fifth of a millimeter or something. It's really thin. And I drill the hole and yeah, the reason why I use copper is because copper, the process of it vortexing through copper will also make um, ionic minerals. So basically water-soluble copper in the water. Um, you can do this with silver and with gold also. Um, so if you made basically like multiple rings of the different materials and put them all in line there. You, can, you, you tune your water to the materials and pick up a little bit of the trace elements so that your water can be infused with copper, silver, or gold, whatever, whatever ultimately that you want it to infuse your water with. Um, so I used uh, um, filtered water with this. Um, I also place in some ionic sea minerals um, into the water. Um, I also, you can also use distilled, whatever you want. Like in any water, this is going to make your water better. Um, it doesn't matter which water is going to make it better. <laughs> but uh, obviously, the, the better the quality of the water when you put in, the, the better product it's, you're going to get out of it. So, um, yeah. So, blessings. Uh, have a beautiful, amazing, wonderful night. Uh, namaste. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.